Kujer is my favorite Sentai season, pretty much of all time, so it may appear that this statement about this episode may be slightly, very slightly subjective, but fuck, this episode was fucking absolutely phenomenal and actually flawless. I don't give a shit. And in my opinion, it did something that the Go Wander episode didn't really do, and that is actually use the returning actors slash characters in the best way and that is actually like you know use them to progress the plot of the show with the episode kind of pretty much being fully focused on Sakito really trying to get Gemba back to the team and they bumped into Akira aka Tokyo Rokugo while at the same time the Hashirian trio creates a rail auto monster that creates an explosive Congo line so uh, yeah like here's the thing like the conga line stuff is very much for the big like return for right or tokyo ichigo but using akira for gemba's story works so much more than just akira was the first orange ranger gemba is now the current one it's both of them are kind of like worker like vehicle themed but it's more than that they are both in teams that they are that are predominantly human which they are the only like inhuman characters that pretty much set themselves off to pretty much feel unwanted or feel different and their connection to the main villains most of the time would get them to the point of being a lone wolf and it works so well because the Akira that we meet is not the same Akira that would say, hey, like, this is the place I'm going to die, this very nihilistic character, that Akira changed, that Akira actually, like, watched now that the Kyujus really grow up, like, from kids to adults, he's fully optimistic which like shows how much Gemba can really fucking grow but Gemba doesn't understand that his battles can't be won alone and having Sakito being the person that tells him yeah you're different but everybody is different in some sort of way but the thing that makes us better is us sticking together he's literally saying hey with RBUD I would not be a cleaner like this is far better characterization for Sakito since I think the last episode that really focused on him which I think it's like the early to late 20s so it's like yo this is what I want Sakito to be this very good natured human being that really fucking love kinship and really appreciates it and having him be the one that really push Gemba to that point not Mir, not not Chashiro, not, not Joe not even fucking uh, Taya. Him, Sakito, the person that, that knows the least about him, but he kind of gets him, is really cool. Again, like, it's so great. And literally having Akira tells him that he doesn't know how nice it is to have a team. And in one point, he would understand that is, like, genuinely nice. And it's like, yo, that comes from, like, a person that probably, like, I don't, we don't really know when's the last time that Akira and the rest of the Kyujers really met. Like, probably Wright is the one that most of the time would probably pay visits to Akira, or at least Akira knows that he remembers him, how much Church of, like, Wright remembered Akira and acknowledged Akira when he came in to help Boon Red and Boon Violet, but it is, like, really interesting that... So we don't know really how much, like, the rest of the team really remember uh, Akira it really depends how much like the 10th anniversary movie how much of it really changed because like the 10th anniversary movie took place in 2025 the show takes in still in 2024 but there was some weird time shenanigans for my for my memory so i'm not fully kind of remembering a lot of it i did remember like right being the only person that actually like saw the shadow line and the rest of the team didn't but he couldn't see Akira again it's kind of weird but I'm not going to talk about that that much but it is like super interesting that it's like yo the character of Akira to come in and say hey like appreciate the team that you have like this is the place I want to die this shit is this shit is dumb like it's great for a character that was this very nihilistic character to find 
the hope in life is fucking phenomenal and in my opinion it's the best use for Akira as this legend ranger returning really taking a character that is very similar to him and kind of like tell him hey this is where you're wrong like look at the team that you have now this is cool it is interesting that they didn't transform I don't know why like the shenanigans with the other monster was really fun how much I was kind of confused that Wright was the only one who came to help to Akira? Like, come on, it would have been nice to get the entire team, but having Wright fight alongside the other Bunbunger while the original Tokyo opening was playing in the background was fucking great, it genuinely gave me goosebumps and I was like this close to like almost believing that maybe Tokyo uh, Yongo's actor might return because there were some like stills from like the preview where we see like Tokyo, Tokyo Yongo's like Tokyo Yongo's uh, suit but it, it wasn't but it was really cool that like we got to see like the lane changes again it's just so fun like Everything with Wright interacting with at least like Sakito specifically was really funny because it's like BUND is weirdly train sick. So, like, Wright say, Hey, just take my train. We're not going to do the dick train thing. I don't believe that we have that prop. And like, seeing Sakito just being confused by the controllers and he just takes the wheel and just puts his own fucking like changer where the wheel was was kind of funny and it is stupendously funny that they're still using some stock footage but it's not like to the go on your degree of like oh you can clearly see what stock footage and what's not and having in the end of the episode seen right quote unquote all grown up was genuinely like a heartfelt moment to me I don't know why like I am kind of upset that uh, Twitter fucking spoiled it to me because I would have fucking like bawled my eyes out and this moment was even fucking better when we discovered that literally the actor that played right kind of like fought and navigated his way to like return to even like be just for one scene like it genuinely was like fucking nice and it genuinely like gave that moment a lot more levity than what i actually thought it would be overall this episode done what the go on your episode should have done and that is kind of like have the returning legend ranger be not really the focus of the episode but help one of the other characters of the show like i'm sorry to tell you go on red didn't really do a lot he was just there like it would have been cooler if he would have let's say interact more with joe and like make it a fully joe focused episode and not like go on reds here it's like it's like oh no let's focus on sakito let's focus on gemba like those really work because they use the right character while also we did get this little tease of the champion forms that are coming up probably very soon those jackets look really nice i am kind of upset that my boy sakito isn't getting in one but yeah like overall this was a terrific fucking episode i genuinely loved it this one gets a fucking s plus i don't give a shit fight me so what you found about boon boon episode 32 comment below let me know tell me like if you watched Tokyo, what what's your thoughts about that season because like genuinely it's top three for me it's that good uh, yeah if you like the video please press that like button if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please help your subscribe button become a subscribed button uh, yeah don't forget you're the only one that can prevent forest fires thank you very much and have a great rest of your day bye bye